Okay, this is going to be a quick video to show how I use rubrics in Canvas to grade online assignments. So here's my assignment. You want to make sure that I've got a rubric attached to it. And when I go to edit here, if you want it to count up your assignments, count up the rubric and count that as a score, you need to make sure down here somewhere we say, oh, no, it's not there. Let's go back to the assignment itself. It's in the rubric. When you edit the rubric, so here's my rubric. I can go in and edit it. And when you have your rubric, you want to make sure to check use this rubric for assignment grading. Okay, so the students can see that in the assignment. They can see what we're looking for here. You can be more specific here. Some of my rubrics, I have a little more detail in there. Um, but that's all set. Now I'm going to go to Speed Grader. And you don't, won't see quite the top of this because I'm keeping the students' names out of it. Um, so here we have Desmos Graph that a student created. I like to drag this over a little bit so I have a little more space on my rubric. Um, now she didn't turn it in and now I've got it. Um, so previously I added a link, I comment here um, that she didn't have it. So she submitted it now and I can click on, I usually go to click in a new tab because I want to see how well they did on a full screen. And now Desmos is opening up for me. Here's their graph. She's got nice scale. She's got time and position there. Um, and then I've got a couple pieces here that I want to check and make sure that's working. And this one down here is working. So she's got everything I need on here. Um, so I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go back over here. So again, I can see kind of a screenshot of it, but I wanted to go to the other piece to see more. And I say best fit line, yeah, label, reasonable scale, yeah. Um, now this one here, because they added both sliders on here, they didn't need to do that. So I'm giving them a little extra point there for, for exceeding expectations. And then I'm going to click Save. So notice it's 39 out of 40. And now she's got this. And I can say, I can put a little comment here. I could also go in here and I could say on this one, um, great job uh, showing both tangents. And that was kind of what I, I had a bunch of default um, comments that I copy and paste from just a text document. And here I can say thanks for submitting your link. And I submit that. And so again, as you can see, my first comment, my second comment. And you could also add a sound here. If you want to say something to it, you can do that as well. I think even a video or some other attachment. So I'm done. It says your comments have been submitted. And I'm ready to go on to my next one. So if I clicked here, it'll just jump to my next one. This one I've already graded. So that's about all there is to it. Good luck.